Hello friends, so this is the second question related to Telogen's theorem. Again we have this uh, circuit here and we have to verify Telogen's theorem. So we have to find out the currents in the various branches through these various resistors. Then we have to find out the power supplied and the power absorbed. Okay, so very simple. We are starting with very simple questions. Then we'll go to little bit complex ones. Okay, so we'll redraw the circuit. This is hundred volt. Then. A dome then we have four ohm one ohm then we have three ohm so let us uh, assign currents through the various branches so let us say this current is i1 this current here is let's say i2 and this current here is i3 now we have to apply kcl here and then we'll use nodal analysis to find out the various currents so let the voltage here at this node be V. So here applying KCL I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 because I1 is flowing towards the node, I2 and I3 are flowing away from the node. So this is the basic KCL equation. Then we'll replace I1, I2 and I3 with their KCL equation higher potential minus lower potential by resistance involved. So I1 is 100 minus V by 8 i2 is equal to v by 4 and i3 is also v by 1 plus 3 which is 4 okay this is plus this is plus v by 4 That implies 100 by 8 is equal to V by 8 plus total V by 4 plus V by 4 to V by 4 is equal to V by 2. Okay. So here LCM 8 V plus 4 V is equal to 5 V by 8. So 5B by 8 is equal to 100 by 8, 8, 8 cancelled, 5V is equal to 100, that implies V is equal to 100 by 5 which is equal to 20 volt. So we have got the node voltage which is equal to 20 volt, this point. Now we have to find out the individual currents. So I1 here the current supplied by the voltage source is 100 minus V by the resistance in between which is equal to 8 ohm that is 100 minus 20 by 8 which is equal to 80 by 8 which is equal to 10 ampere volt and ohm that's why ampere so I1 is equal to 10 ampere then I2 is this V minus ground by 4 that is 20 by 4 I2 is equal to V minus ground by 4 which is equal to 20 by 4 which is equal to 5 ampere so I2 is equal to 
5 ampere. Then we have I3 which is again V by 4 which is 20 by 4 again. is 5 ampere. So, these are the individual currents. So, you can directly you could have applied KCL also I1 is 10 ampere, I2 is 5 ampere. So, I3 will be I1 minus I2 5 ampere. So, you would have got the same result. Okay. So, we have got the individual currents. Now, we have to find out the power supplied by the voltage source and absorbed by the resistors and how much power is absorbed by the individual resistors then we will uh, find the total summation of the power absorbed and supplied. So, first the power absorbed sorry the power supplied by the voltage source that is 100 volt. So, here you have to pay attention again that the voltage source has its sign convention like this the terminals positive and negative 100 volt current supplied is I1 which is equal to 10 ampere it is flowing away from the positive terminal and towards the negative terminal so it is supplying power power is being delivered which is taken as positive it is simply product of voltage and current which is 100 volt into 10 ampere which is equal to 1000 watts. Then the 8 ohm resistor ok 8 ohm resistor which is here which is connected like this the 8 ohm it is flowing like this plus minus it is absorbing power. which is taken as negative ok which is generally I square R this. So, here I is I 1 which is equal to 5. So, it is equal to the power absorbed by the 8 ohm resistor which is equal to I 1 is equal to 10 ampere sorry not 5 I 1 is equal to 10 ampere sorry I by mistake I said 5 so I 1 is equal to minus 10 ampere so it is minus 10 square I square into R R is equal to 8 ohm so it is minus 800 watt ok I 1 is equal to 10 it is flowing through 8 ohm ok so it is minus 10 square into 8 I square R then this 4 ohm resistor here the current flowing is I2 which is equal to 5 ampere. So, the power absorbed by the 4 ohm resistor is minus I2 is equal to 5. So, it is 5 square into 4 which is equal to 25 into 4 which is equal to minus 100 watts. Then again here 1 ohm and 3 ohm they are together we can do it in a combined way it will get we will get the same result but to avoid confusion let us do it separately same current is flowing I3 through 1 ohm and 3 ohm I3 is equal to 5 uh, ampere so the power absorbed by the 1 ohm resistor is equal to minus 5 square into 1 which is equal to minus 25 watt and the power absorbed by the 3 ohm resistor is same current is flowing 5 square into 3 which is equal to 25 into 3 which is equal to minus 75 watt. So, this is the power supplied 1000 watt by the 100 volt voltage source and these are the power absorbed. So, now the total summation of the power that is equal to here plus 
1000 watt then minus 800 watt minus 100 watt by the 4 ohm then minus 25 watt minus 75 watt so here this is plus 1000 watt minus 800 plus 100 900 then 25 plus 75 is 100 so it is minus 1000 watt so which is equal to 0 watt so again Telegen's theorem is verified the total summation of power in a circuit because of the circuit elements one which is supplying power and the ones which are absorbing the power the total summation is zero which is as per the law of conservation of energy okay so here also again with the help of this example we verified telligence theorem Okay.